Well, hey guys, and welcome to this very special little episode of Noob Eden. You will notice that the title of this video is not numbered the same as our previous episodes. I think we're up to episode 14 in the regular channel, the regular playlist, so to speak, of episodes. And that's because I want to introduce you to this little special project, something that I've wanted to do for many, many years, uh, but it feels like now the time is just right. And I want to introduce you to what I call the 100 Frigates Project. So what is it all about? Well, this is all about learning probably what is one of the most difficult arts in the game of EVE Online, and that is the art of solo PvP, especially coming from the point of view of a brand new pilot. And uh, speaking of brand new pilots, let me introduce to you who you see this lovely lady on the screen here. Uh, her name is 100 Frigates. Now her goal in life is simply to become as proficient at solo and small gang PvP as she possibly can. Now, if you were to ask someone who's a proficient solo PvPer, well, you know, what's one of the best ways to get good at PvP? Often their response, and it's one that I've heard a number of times, will be, go out, get a hundred frigates, and just blow them all up and learn as much as you can during the process. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is what this project is all about. That is exactly what uh, young 100 frigates here is going to do. And you'll see, in her hangar, we have got our first 60 frigates. Well, that's 60, not 100. Let me explain why. Here's what we've done. I've gone through and we've purchased uh, five each from each of the races. So, Galente, Amar, Kaldari, and Minmatar. Five of each of the Tech 1 combat and attack frigates. So, there's three uh, in each race. So, that comes up to 60 frigates in total. So, hopefully, by the time we burn through these 60, we will have learnt enough both in an actual in-game training skills and in our actual flying skills to maybe step up into some more expensive um, faction frigates and who knows, maybe even into some Tech 2 stuff. And here's how we're going to attack this. For every one of these frigates, uh, we will spend some time looking at the fit, why we fit that particular way, what type of engagement then we'll be going to look for based on both the ship, the fit and of course our limited skills. So obviously early on uh, we're going to have very limited skills and we'll talk about those in a moment. Um, so that's going to be very restrictive as to what we can do. But don't fear, make sure we're very clear up front, we are going to make lots of mistakes, we are going to lose all of these ships. But in that process, in that fight, in that losing the ship, then we'll also spend a bit of time sort of debriefing and going through and picking apart the things we did good, the things we did badly, what we learnt from that experience, because that's another great expression you often hear in EVE, death is learning. It's just an opportunity to go, all right, what did I do wrong there? Um, now, whether or not each frigate represents one little episode, Possibly not, because we may lose two or three in a real hurry, and no one wants to see a whole episode of just one frigate dying to a gate camp somewhere, or some stupid thing that they, they didn't um, you know didn't last more than 10 seconds. So we may package a couple together. Let's just see. I don't know. I don't have a real plan. I'm just going to roll with this, and I'm really, really excited about what we may or may not learn from this. It's also quite vulnerable, because you're going to see some really bad piloting. Now, I've played this game for uh, over eight years, but I suspect, like many players uh, who've been playing even for a long time, the art of PvP, and in particular small gang and solo, is still a very elusive goal in terms of being good at it or feeling competent at it. So I'm going to make some awful, awful mistakes, but we're going to share them. We're not going to miss one of these frigates. Every 100 of these frigates, you're going to see them die. Uh, even if they die ridiculously, that's going to be part of the story. That's going to be part of the uh, the chronicle of this young pilot, 100 frigates, as she embarks on this very lofty goal. Now, this little project is going to get tied in with the regular episodes in that we'll start looking at uh, an episode or two on factional warfare and how you can get involved. It's a great way for new players to learn PvP, to learn survival skills, and to make some reasonable isk at the same time and for me it's a great part of the game to really develop those skills so I think we are going to load up all these frigates hurl them out into some factional warfare space but we'll look at that in the next episode of the regular Noob Eden series. For this episode though we just want to get 100 frigates set up with some of her basic skills so let's have a look at that and introduce this thing uh, you may have heard of called the Magic 14 skills. 
All right, let's have a look at her skill sheet. And I think one of the first things you might notice is that 100 Frigates is an Omega clone. Now, Noob Eden is a Alpha. Um, but 100 Frigates, I've, I've set up as an Omega account. Now, do you have to do that for this? I, I don't I don't think so. I mean, I don't know. This part of the experiment is to find out um, how successful and proficient you could be with limited skills. So there's absolutely nothing to stop you as an alpha trying uh, a similar project or applying some of the learning that 100 Frigates, I guess, is or the mistakes that 100 Frigates is going to make on your behalf. To be honest with you, I would say if your life situation means that you can afford what is effectively the cost of, I guess, you know, about a coffee a week to put towards this hobby, video game slash hobby that is EVE Online, that it's totally worth it and I, I believe you're going to get a better experience. But we're only going to be using cheap T1 frigates for the first part of this. So alphas absolutely uh, are going to be able to access and learn along with 100 frigates. All right, the next thing that you might notice is that she already has some skills trained. Now, apart from the skills that come with the creation of a new character, there's about 370 odd thousand skill points that are baked in as a brand new character is, is formed. But I've also taken about a day, day and a half and trained her up to level three in each of the races tech one frigates amar frigate kaldari frigate galente frigate and minmatar frigate all up to level three at this point like i said for an omega account that took about a day and a half now what else are we going to train next well that's where this thing called the magic 14 comes in there are 14 core fundamental skills that no matter what you're doing if they are going to help you fit your ships better help your ships be more maneuverable, more survivable, and even though they probably don't sound all that exciting, they are critical skills to maximize as much as you can before you start getting serious in EVE Online. And just before we look at those Magic 14, you might also notice that she has 1 million unallocated skill points. So if you start an account in EVE Online via the recruitment link that's in the description for this video, you will start with this bonus 1 million skill points. It gives you a great head start of about 20 odd days worth of training that you can use to allocate those skill points wherever you'd like. So if you're thinking of getting started, make sure you use that recruitment link. It's going to definitely set you up and give you an advantage right from the start. Okay, so what are these Magic 14 skills? And I know that word rubs a few people the wrong way. They're not magic at all. They're just important. So these important 14 skills, what are they? Well, you used to have to uh, look them up online, but now with the introduction of this thing called Expert Systems. So in your skill uh, page here, if you click on this, uh, you will see... Now, I've actually got one applied, so you won't see this straight away, but it will come up with your list of available expert systems. And there's one here called Core Ship Operations. This lists those important 14 skills. So here's a great way to get started to say, if I, what, what should I be training? Now, because I've got this one applied, now when I say applied, you purchase them. You basically pay cash and you effectively rent skills for a period of time. So for seven days, I have these skills maxed out to the alpha. So that's what the little underline bit is. So if we have a look here at hull upgrades, uh, you can see the little underlined ones means that those skills, I don't have them trained. The full white boxes are my actual trained skills. But being applied are levels 3, 4, and 5 for the next 7 days via this expert system. Now, I'm not saying go out and, and spend, I think it was $5 US for 7 days. I just did it for the demonstration. So these are the important 14 skills that we want to try and get up to level 3, some of them to level 4 as early as possible. And ultimately, if you're going to be uh, in EVE uh, for any length of time, you really do need to get these up to level 5. And that's going to take some time, but welcome to EVE. It's that kind of a game. It's a very slow burn, but it's totally worth the burn. Um, you don't have to type these in one by one. I'm going to show you how we can get these into our skill queue nice and quick. So I've got about, oops, I forgot to hit start on that. I've got a Galente Frigate's got about 12 minutes to go here. I want to put some of those important 14 skills in. So what I've got in the description for this video, you'll be able to cut and paste a skill plan because you can import 
a skill plan in here. So let me show you what I mean. I've got the text here in a notepad. By the way, little tip, you've got a notepad in EVE Online. So if there's any important information you want to keep easily at hand, if I close that, in your Neocom, in Utilities, you have a notepad where you can create notes and folders uh, of important information you want to keep. So in here, I've put a note together that has my Magic 14 skills all listed in text. So I can copy and paste these into my skill queue. Now, many of these skills are already trained. They're already baked into your uh, character when you create it. So let me just show you what I mean. If I was to click and drag down to the last of the level three skills, okay, because everything after there, I've got them in order going up to level four and then finally the level fives. So I'm gonna right click and hit copy selected. And this little menu button here in my training queue will allow me to add skills that are listed in the clipboard. Let's do that right now. I'm going to import them in now, many of them, like I said, are already trained. So it'll give you a list of the things that are already trained. The things that aren't trained, it will put on your training queue. And it might even alert us to the fact that uh, some aren't even purchased. Let's have a look. Already been trained. There are 31 of those skills that we imported that have already been trained. Fantastic. Let's keep going down. Uh, what could not be added to the training queue was the shield operation because we don't have that skill injected. I'm actually going to buy that right now. If I hover over this shield operation one, I can actually buy and train. Now, be careful. Buying it directly from the menu like this can be more expensive than actually purchasing it from the market. In this case, it's only 71 and a half thousand. I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I'm just going to buy it here. But just be careful if you get to other, other sort of non-core skills, they can get a bit more expensive. But for the sake of convenience, I'm going to buy and train shield operation one two and three i want to put them into my queue and because i'm an omega i can put my queue out you know some distance into the future and you'll see there's only two days worth of training for everything on that magic 14 up to level three if you were to go everything up to level four which we'll probably put in the queue in a moment uh it takes that to 17 days in fact let's do that let's do that right now right, and there you go we're at a bit over 18 days worth of training all right one last thing about skills before we move on is the expert system i'm actually going to remove it i want this just to be a natural raw progression i want to see uh i want to struggle i guess with trying to manage with you know low cpu and low power grid because they're the real struggles that pilots are going to face i just put it on there so you guys could see what it looked like and that it was a v available uh, so I'm going to go up here to my expert system and I'm actually going to remove this uh, yes I wasted a few dollars but you guys are worth it and now when I go back to my skills you'll see that that expert system is no longer applied uh, these are this is my training queue this is what the the next 18 days looks like in terms of training for young 100 frigates and uh, guys, that's about it for now. Other than to say, please, if you're interested in PvP at all, make sure you subscribe so you get notifications anytime a new um, episode comes up. I'm going to get these things moved out into factional warfare space. And man, we are going to start blowing up some ships. It's going to be a hoot. I can't wait. I'm really looking forward to not only seeing what we can learn, but just how bad how bad we can be at any given moment because trust me I, and i've noticed from some of the comments on the other videos it seems like a lot of players like myself who um have played for a while but are just you know there's things that just when we're, we're bad at we're bad at it eve it's that kind of a game also i would encourage you if you are good at this kind of stuff or any of the videos if please it's a comment add add thoughts add suggestions as we start to analyze and debrief some of these um these losses please any let's crowdsource our solo pvp career if you guys can put ideas comments um keep them constructive that'd be awesome don't just tell me i suck because i know that already um but anything that we can start to add so that new people both new players to the game and new players to pvp have got a resource where we can actually draw on uh, the experience of some of you guys so really excited to see where this goes um yeah can't wait good job well done